Hi, my name is Tony Ann and welcome to my channel. Today's going to be a first impressions of the Be Perfect Carnival 3 palette, but it's not going to be just your ordinary first impressions, it's going to be a Halloween inspired first impression. So if you want to see the look I come up with, then just continue watching. So, obviously I, I said it's Halloween inspired and the look I want to do is inspired by the Hulk so I'm going to be doing my face green. I've done a full face paint before but I've never filmed it. I did uh, it was the devil so it was like a she devil and now it's going to be she Hulk so yeah. So I've primed. I also got the mirror as well. I remember when they first started with showing bits and pieces of the collection and she showed the mirror and I wanted this more than I wanted the palette to be honest like look and it's so big like look at that huge like oh, it's everything I think it's like 17 pounds something and it's so clear too so yeah I'm gonna use this hopefully I don't get it green yeah so I don't have any face paint and I don't have any white foundation or concealer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my makeup revolution concealer I'm going to try this first or I'll just use one of my other foundations and um, pop it on my hand a lot more because it's very neutral it should mix well with a color I'm going to use Sh Shimani from the Mama Mitchell palette um, with Beauty Bay I'm just going to mix that into so you see that's just a little bit and I'm just going to keep adding and you see I'll get my green so I'm just going to do this a whole load of times I'll pop it on my face and then I'll be back so I just did a patch test and it worked so what I did was I put the concealer on and then I put the color on with a dense brush on top of it so yeah okay I'm now green <laughs> so here's carnival 3 palette there so obviously I'm gonna be using all the greens up there to try and create a the thing with um, doing a face paint as well is that it oxidizes so as much as it's like it was a light green when it was first on you see it's getting darker so it's looking more and more green <laughs> so I'm gonna go in to should I go as dark as forest or should I use tropics so I'm gonna go into forest a little bit because it is quite pigmented I'm just going to start at the front right here. Hmm. I'm really, I really like green. Like green is one of my favourite colours. It happened over like a weird period of time that like it became my faves. Like one of my faves. And then I'm going to go in to maybe tropics. Tropics I'm going to go into. and blend out that colour into the brown. Build up the pigment of both. So tapping that shade on, which was Tropics, go attach Tropics on, into the brow, and then go back into Forest, and tap on, just blending out Tropics. Again. And then I'm going to cut the crease. Okay, the cut crease is done. And then I'll go back into forest. I just tap, bring the colour out a little bit further. Let's have that strong definition. There you go. Go back into forest. And then just apply it at the bottom. Do like a sort of smoky liner activity. To 
it just like that, just soft at first. Because we're going to build it up over time. And then I'm going to go back into Tropics, which is a lighter green. And then just go above that. And smoke it out as well. Yeah, I like that bit of negative space. That's quite nice. Back into Forest. And do the same stamp here. Show up and show out. <laughs> there you go. And I'm going to take it out very far with the forest. May just add a bit more tropics so we don't lose her. There you go. And blow that out as well. Yeah, I didn't want it to be something too complicated because obviously my face is green. <laughs> and then the space where there's no foundation or anything, just gonna go back in with my foundation brush and um, go into the green, some money, and tap over that area. So I'm gonna conceal under my eyes. I'm gonna use the P. Louise base actually. Add a little bit. One dot there. And give some definition at the side there. Then I'm gonna go back into the brush that I used for my foundation and then just tap over that. To set my under eye, I'm just gonna use my regular yellow powder, my banana one. And oh, what brush? I don't wanna get green on all my brushes. Maybe I should have used this wet ass one. Ooh. So I'm going to do the other eye off camera and then I'm going to come back to contour. I kind of wish I didn't do that now, but yeah, it's giving me anger. Yeah. <laughs> anger not constipated till the end. <laughs> go in with a bit of forest. You think? Or tropics? Tropics or forest. Well, I'll start with a bit of tropics and then if it's too light I will go into forest. So let's it's a little bit light. Okay, so I use tropics as the framework for the contour and then I'll apply a little bit of forest underneath that yeah that's a real contour shade <laughs> I wanted to do something interesting with the palette because I know be perfect quality by now I don't think it's ever going to disappoint me in terms of like pigment and payoff and stuff so I thought let me try use it on my face and see what it's really saying and then for blush I'm going to go into Tropics apply that as a blush mm. just to make sure it's actually defined and not just you know a mess I'm going to use my banana powder and carve out underneath for highlight I'm going to go in to Tahiti green, that one, swirl around in it, alright, try it out, drop from the back, oh that's a pre-shade, <laughs> highlight the brown bone while we're here, on the nose too, She blends out quite well as well. Set the face. Whew. 
Okay. Should I go green with the lip as well? Or should I go black? I think I'm gonna go black. See, my go-to every time I wanna do black lip is my Morphe Dark Room. What I'm gonna do today though, that's different, is I'm gonna set it with a black eyeshadow. Black Beach. I'm just stamping into it and I'm going to stamp it on my lips. Almost ready for my date with Mr. Hulk. Can't be late, can't upset him. <laughs> I'm going to put on the Be Perfect clientele lashes because I still want you to see the eye look a bit and then I'll come back. All right, here is the final look. This is the She-Hulk look. <laughs> we got there in the end. Um, so, what do I think of the palette? Where'd I put it? Be perfect. All of their palettes that we've come out with, um, that I've used, like the Stacey Marie um, collaborations, they all have the same pigment the same payoff like I know what I'm getting when I buy a palette from them um in terms of whether you should buy it if you have any of the others I think you would be better off even though it's a bit because I only use the green section but I think you'd be a bit better off buying the second one because I think the color story is is a bit it's a bit more variety in the colour story, like there is a lot here, but it's very pink and purple heavy, this palette, but the other palette has like all the rainbow colours in the world. I'm sure you can still do a full rainbow look with this, but that's what I would recommend anyway. Um, yeah, so you don't need to get all three of <laughs> them, I would say get the second one, but I am impressed with this one if you want to get this one, it is really good, and you saw how even... It worked on my skin as well, so she has a dark skin woman. These things don't usually show up on my skin, so it's great to find a brand or product where it does show up. Um, I would say buy it from Beauty Bay because I had trouble buying it from their actual website. And that's a story for another day. Um, the mirror is everything. I, I love this mirror, like... I wanted it so bad and it's worth it everything everything and more I would say definitely get this though it's like under 20 pounds or under 20 dollars so yeah get this it's quality like look look how clear I am in that bit that bit like wow <laughs> come and talk <laughs> but yeah let me know what you guys think of the look down below I know it's different but it came together in the end, don't you think? I think it did. But yeah, come back next time to see what I'm getting up to. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Hopefully I can breathe and talk properly by the time I come back next week. <laughs> but we'll see. So, thank you again. Bye. <laughs>